Oh, hello. This is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. And this week, we're still out canoe camping on the Manistee River to try and get Dick into his first deer ever. Months of planning and preparation have culminated in this one day of adventure. We paddled miles into the cold, slow flowing Manistee River to set up camp with our teepee hot tent in the tree line along its banks with a wood stove and all the gear we'll need for opening day of deer season. After camp was set, it was time to haul all our hunting gear up the ridge so we could face days of wind, rain, sleet, and all kinds of weather. All to see a whole lot of nothing. Nothing we're shooting anyway. But as the weather worsened and got colder and the rain turned to snow and we felt less like moving, that's when the deer started to get up and move along on their own personal adventures. Dick tip. Make sure to have enough weight capacity in your canoe to haul out a deer when canoe hunting. The third straight day of cold, wet weather leaves you feeling just drained, sore, and tired. You do not want to head to the blind, even with a heater. You miss your family and your bed. You miss warm food and dry socks. But before we could feel too bad for ourselves about our decisions in life, a little bit of movement catches our eyes down in the valley below. And it's time to perk up and get the job done. You see him? Are you going to be able to kill it? Is it a doe? I'm fucking deaf, but you got it. Second shot, Dick. Dick tip. Make sure your first shot counts, but be prepared for a second shot. How's it feel? First deer during gun season. First deer ever, Dick. How's it feel? It feels pretty good. Public land deer. I've never even shot a public land deer. This is a public land doe. Antlers. Cool. No antlers. <laughs> now what are you going to do about it? I'm going to gut it. Try to figure out a way to get it out of here. And with that, success. Now with the waiting out of the way, the really hard part begins. Dick has to tag this deer and field dress it, then start the long, slow drag out as I walk ahead to try and find him the easiest pass from the valley back to our campsite at the other side of the base of the ridge. And eventually, with a lot of sweat, a few tears, and a bunch of hard work, we make it back to camp with a deer, and we get to celebrate a little. I think I just 
try to stay at the 10 all day. You did. And aren't you glad I made you get up? Yep. You're welcome. Thanks, Bob. Appreciate it. I would never shit you about gear. Good job. It's the only one I was filming, too. Once we're back in camp and warmed up a bit, it's time to get Dick's deer in a tree. We need to protect it from the elements and predators, and it'll also help it bleed out a little bit to save the meat so we can start our long, slow, cold paddle out of here. Did it. You shot, gutted, and hung your first deer, and it was on public land at Bob's spot. Yes, it can be done. Dick tip, make sure to gut and hang your deer as soon as possible when the weather allows it. With that deer under our belts, making this one of our most successful trips so far, it's time to curl up on our cots in the tent and fire that stove up and get ready to make some chili dogs to warm ourselves up before we have to start thinking about how the hell we're gonna get all our hundreds of pounds of gear and now a deer Every time you do miles that, out to our hard. car down river in our canoes in the winter. Just another day in the life of the My Adventure Life crew, I guess. And that's going to be it for this week, folks. If you liked it, or even if you didn't, please remember to give it the thumbs up and click subscribe down there somewhere. Then ring the bell so you'll get a notification next week when Dick and I hop in our canoes and try and figure out how the hell we're getting off this river. Uh, also, we picked a winner for this hat, the Killin' Deers and Drinking Beers hat giveaway. So congratulations to Our Simple Life Project. You've always been a big supporter of us. It's great to have you win. Uh, we'll be in contact real soon to get you your hat. And you know, if you like that hat or my polo or this hat or any of the other mile gear you see in the show, just click one of the links down there. It'll take you to our merch shop and you can support us a little bit more. Uh, we thank you all for the support you've shown us this far. Have a happy holidays. Uh, but that's it for this week, folks. Thanks for watching. This has been MI Adventure Life.